the last lecture was about muscular tissue if somebody ask you contractile tissue the thing first come in your mind is what muscular tissue or you may be understand of contractile tissue you will think about skeletal muscle smooth muscles and cardiac muscles this is the because you know what is contractile tissue contractile tissue is what muscular tissue it is what muscular tissue but you know what and the other important thing is that the meaning of contractile tissue is that a tissue which have ability to do contraction and relaxation this is what ability to be contractile tissue so all your muscular tissue which you consider skeletal muscles smooth muscles cardiac muscles they are known as contractile tissue but some cell in your body they also single cell they also have ability to contract they also have ability to contractile they also known as what contractile cells they known as what this thing is important what does it mean you know in muscular tissue we know that inside the single myocyte or single muscle cell or single muscle fiber we have a myofilaments which is known as what actins and these myofilaments actually provide contractibility to the tissue these myofilaments actually provide contractibility to the with the help of these myofilaments a tissue can do what contract and relax so this is a characteristic feature of muscular tissue skeletal muscle smooth muscle and cardiac muscles they all this whole tissue is the contractile tissue that means they have ability of to contraction and relaxation that's clear but similarly in your body you will find a single cell they may have ability of contraction they have they may have ability of contraction you can call that cell as contractile cell you can call that cells as there are three very prominent cells in the history and even now a day they are still believe they are contractile cells they are located in different region and involving in many different functions what they are number one you know already myoepithelial cell myo epithelial cell number two pericytes number two pericytes number three is what myo fibro blast myo fibro you know try to understand this people is believe that these th cells they are these are actually combinations you know sometimes the name also explain you have very well uh, idea about myoepithelial cell just look on this name myo mean muscle epithelial mean ep that's you know this mean a cell which have both properties a cell which have properties of muscle tissue and properties of epithelial tissue you are getting my point you know this and an other important thing is that if you look into the myoepithelial cells is nothing special they are the cell which are actually attached with the glandular epithelium on the secretory portion of the glandular that simple story you already have this idea this if this is any gland okay like this this is the epithelial cell of gland of oh, fine they have this basement membrane or oh, that basement membrane you will find what a cell is attached with what with basement membrane membrane of this glandular epithelial cells glandular epithelial cell this cell is known as myoepithelial cell and you know this one thing is different here this cell have cellular projection this cell have what cellular projection so it is believed that this the point we are giving focus to the contractile cell this is believed that they may have 
सब बायोफिलामेंट्स दिस सेल हैव सब इट डजेंट मीन दे हैव ऑल बायोफिलामेंट्स दर ऑल कंपोनेंट्स व्हिच इन्वॉल्व इन द मसल कंट्रैक्शन बट स्टिल दे हैव सम कंट्रैक्टाइल फिलामेंट्स दे हैव सम बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सम कंट्रैक्टाइल फिलामेंट्स दिस बायो एपिथेलियल सेल कैन डू व्हाट so all the contraction of this they may help this tissue this uh, gland to release their secretion that's clear why we call them myoepithelial cells because reason is that they are not 100% muscular cells and not 100% they show both characters so that's why they are known as and they are <coughs> mostly in your body they you will find on memory glands and other epithelial glands that's clear move on to the pericyte <laughs> you know there is this this cell is have lot of interest in the search nowadays pericytes do you have any idea what is pericyte you know i believe still some good books may write pericyte is a connective tissue cell pericyte is a connective tissue cell or pericyte is a what moral cell m u r a l you know this word mean the cell which are in the wall of some organ cell within the wall of some organs what really happened first you know you need to understand one things what is the location of pericytes in your body pericytes are some people roughly called as pericyte is the vascular cells you know perivascular cells what does it mean blood vessel especially small blood vessels what are small blood vessel capillaries venules post venules pre venules arterioles post arterioles you know these term people is believe that especially let's take the example of uh, capillaries to understand what is pericyte because if this is you are cross section of capillaries okay this black lining is what what kind of cell you will find in the capillaries endothelial cell which cell here we have cell okay not like this you know they are actually flat i am making them cuboidal endothelium is what flat let me draw this again these cells are what they are flat cell actually like this is better diagram so these these are what you know uh, capillaries people is believe that is a single layer of endothelial cell capillary is what single layer of so this is endothelial cell they are they have what they are definitely they have what basement membrane they have what here this is a lumen this is the rbc some other blood cells okay are moving inside the lumen of capillaries that's clear so blood is moving actually so this is what basement membrane on basement membrane on basement membrane you will find one one cell is attached with what this capillaries they are actually sharing endothelial cells and pericyte they are sharing basement membrane they are located pericyte actually located on what the basement membrane or basal lamina of endothelial cell of capillaries listen again carefully this pericyte have big nucleus you know prominent nucleus this pericyte are located on the basal lamina of endothelial cell this endothelial cell this pericyte they are actually sharing what this is a black lining is here what is look at other view like this a longitudinal view take this view okay if this is your blood vessels okay this whole believe is this is a lumen this whole is what you know believe that this is your basement membrane this inside is what endothelial cell so you can view from here you will find a cell like here <coughs> like this a cell with many projections 
you know parasite also have projections this attach like this if this is your no believe this is your blood vessel okay this is your capillary what is this so this is your parasite this up outer lining of this uh, capillary is what basal lamina which this is what basal lamina so this your parasite is attached like this okay embedded in basal lamina in other sense that's clear and they do communicate each other they do endothelial cells they have gap junction even they have many other attachment points they do communicate each other up to here something is clear what 